Hello everyone, FunshineX here. Welcome back to my Let's Play of Planet Coaster. This is episode two, and last time we built our food court slash hat stand and our facilities. Uh, looks Looking pretty good. Uh, in between episodes, I went ahead and filled in the roof back here and added some lamp posts. That's about it. Nothing else going on. Um, what I want to try and tackle really quick is adding, um, creating, that is, uh, some picnic tables. Even though there's no picnic tables or benches in the game, we're going to try and create some. So I'm going to go ahead and edit this building. And we are going to look in uh, these extras. And we have these scaffolding pipes, um, which I think might serve our purpose. Uh, which one do we want? Scaffolding pipe, scaffolding pipe base. Yeah, let's go with the base. All right, so let's figure out where we want a few of these picnic tables here. Um, maybe there's a good place. And there. And there. And maybe we'll do some over here as well. Just rotate it around. All right, so there's going to be our six picnic tables. Now, if I look in these uh, decorations... No, it wasn't there. Where did I see this? It was in the signs. Look in the signs. I've got some of these like miscellaneous signs that are kind of round. And I was thinking if I put these at the top of these posts, they might look like umbrellas. <laughs> if I can get them centered. I mean, it kind of looks all right. These pillars maybe are not my best choice. Um, but then this guy, I thought... No, not that one. That one's crazy. This one, I think kind of looked like a picnic table ah but they can't intersect that's a problem ah, I was hoping I could put this one flat let's get rid of this pole because I don't really like it um, there was some other stuff I saw in here I had some plans don't worry we look at Oh, where was it? Maybe the roofs? Wall extras. Here we go. There's this wood base that might look better. Because that one kind of gets centered on the, uh, the axis, maybe. Um, and let's go and put that uh, sign back on top. Oh, this is going to be very difficult to um, center. Get right on top of this post. Come on. And we're pretty close. So put that right there. We'll just make one and then try and move it around. Uh, and then if I get out of the building, decorator, and just look at the generic scenery, this one I can um, intersect. So I'm wondering about this hamburger bun. <laughs> if I could use that as a table. Oh, that one's got stuff on it. Uh, nope. Oh, that was ac that actually be a great uh, top. Okay, that might actually work better then. So we could have hamburger bun picnic tables. Oh, I love it. Okay, cool. So let's go back into edit mode on this building. Get rid of you, 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 and you, and put these posts back in. Perfect. Okay. Now, once this game is full released, you should be able to mod in your own 3D items and, and that kind of thing. So maybe we'll do that later. But right now, we got to make do with what we have. So we'll go ahead and exit building mode, get back into scenery, and put our basic bun bottoms. Now, I'm going to have to, again, be like right on top of these to get them centered. So something like that. Shift it down. Oh, I can't see the height now. Okay, there's the ground right there. Shift it up like that high. Like that. Is that about the right height for a table? Um, maybe a little higher. But we can now use this to, to center our stuff. Oops. How did that get so far over there? Go away. Um, actually, I think that was a good, for, for how these short these people are, that might have been a decent, um, height. 
Okay. So we'll do that about that height. Now, can I replicate it this many more times and make it look good? <laughs> oh, and it's not even the center. Dang it. Come on. This is tricky. I gotta get the right height, but also in the center. I think the height's easier to judge than the center. Oh, come on. Little lag spike there. That's all right. All right. So again... Oh, as soon as my mouse hits it, I know I'm in the center. Okay, and then I can just shift it down. Go to the ground and go like two clicks up. Perfect. All right. Okay, so I know I'm in the center. Oop, speeding through time again. Ground, one, two clicks up. Oh, no, don't, don't go off the center. Oh, not even. <laughs> no, no, that's too many. Who knew it would be this hard to make a hamburger bun table? Okay. There's no easy button to, like, fly forward while you're looking down. That would be a nice addition. Because, yeah. <laughs> to get centered over these is tough. Ah, it's a pain in the butt. Okay. Some of them might be kitty tables. <laughs> I'm just going to guess on that one. Oh, I did pretty good. And on um, that one. All right, let's see how we did on the height. Um, Some of them are good, some of them are a little low. Oh, well. That one's like a little high. Let's put the burger buns on top as our, our umbrella. So, something like that. And I want to raise it up until that disappears. How's that look? Perfect. I love it. All right. We got burger seating. Just until that disappears. This one's nice because it has this uh, little white thing sticking down from it. So I can center it that. Oh, these people walk right through it? Do they really walk right through it? Oh my goodness. I can't believe they do that. <laughs> oh well. Oh well. And last one. There we go. There's our seating. And people just walk right through them, but oh well. They at least have some place to eat their hamburgers and shakes. Okay, what do we want to do next? Um, oh, I want to do some bushes and trees. Got to have some bushes and trees. So in scenery, nature, here we go. Um, I was thinking we might put some, plant some trees right in these little holes. I kind of covered a few of them up, but that's okay. Well, at least we can do these two. Um, so we've got the banana. That doesn't really fit. That does not fit. Uh, neither does that one. This one, I think, looks pretty good. So we'll go ahead and plant that right in there. So it looks like it's kind of growing out of the, the crack of the road. Right in there. Uh, should we rotate one? Probably. We don't want them to look too identical here. So go ahead and spin this one like that. There we go. Okay, we got some trees down. Um in our plaza. Should we put some bushes around the side, maybe? Yeah. So it's gonna rotate them. And I can put them down into the ground. If, I, if you don't want them so big, like if you want a small bush, just put it down in the ground. If you want a big bush, put it all the way in the top. So I'm just going to rotate them around so they kind of follow the curvature of the path. see though should I do them kind of 
have some rotation to them. Yeah, that might be good. So we'll just kind of overlap them a little bit so they don't look too uniform. That one looks really bad. Okay, so we got this little uh, path of red bushes. And... Oh, that looks horrible. <laughs> I did not follow the path very well. Uh, all right, it'll do. And maybe I'll put some more around, but what else do we have? We have these trees that we kind of have at the entrance. Let's continue these along. So maybe one might... I don't want it in the ground too much, just a little bit. So right there and right there. Alright, so that continues that. And we've got some rocks. Should we put like some rocks in here? Yeah, let's put a rock there. And you can intersect these rocks so you can make pretty much whatever rock you want. You know, like, see, I now made a custom rock. Oh, but I hate it. I don't like this flat one. Go away. That's something more round. Yeah, like that. Cool. And we can have some little bushes growing around this rock. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'm experimenting. Whatever. I'll, you know, leave it in for a little while and then whatever I don't like, I'll take out and replace with something else. Um, okay. That was the bush I already put in. There's kind of these fruit-looking bushes. Ones that have more flowers on them. Uh, what if we put one of those right in this little alcove here? Growing right in there. A little happy tree growing in there. No, it wouldn't be happy if it was growing there because it would be in the shade. Yeah, we can't have a happy tree in the shade. Um, so maybe he's growing out here. And he'll have some little uh, ground cover around him as well. Just a little bit. Nice happy tree right here. Beautiful. All right. Um, palms don't really look good in this, uh, area, so that's fine. Maybe have some more. What are, what are these trees? This is what I want to know. Probably these big ones, sycamores. Yeah, there we go. So let's have some more happy sycamores in here. Don't forget to rotate them every once in a while so they don't look like you placed them. Even though you did. Alright, there we go. Some more happy trees. Um... And I think our plaza is done, guys, other than this ugly red bushes that I've been putting down. Let me just go ahead and fill this in. Put some other stuff. No, don't don't fly up in the air like that. We don't want flying bushes. There we go. Looking a little better. Looks like somebody actually maintains the place. Um, should we put some of this ground cover in front of it? No. Maybe like a big rock over here that would look okay. Just stick it out of there. <laughs> like that. There we go. Decent. I'll call it decent. I won't call it good, but I will call it decent. Where? What other Planet Coaster Let's Plays, guys, have you seen... Hamburger picnic tables. None. None. Hit that like button for hamburger picnic tables. All right. Um, let's start our kitty area. So that's going to be up here. And we determined we really couldn't do anything with this grass here, which kind of sucks. Uh, can I put a rock in the middle of it so you can't see it? Yeah, you got to walk around the rock, people. No. Um, and weird, the shadows. Look at the shadows, how they move. I guess that says the sun is setting it's doing that that's weird okay so let's lay out a path to get here um what i want to do is get this path here and let's keep it the widest that can go for a while 
And we're going to cut down our angle snap to 45 and put our length max. Because I would like kind of a meandering path. Oh, man. So right here we're going to go... Nope, we're not. Um, why does it intersect with the grass like that? Oh, oh, I think it looked good for a sec there. Oh, come on. Where? Where? I had some blue. I had some blue. I know I did. Why can't I get it to stick? There we go. <laughs> okay. Uh, now we're too close to the wall. Okay. So we're going to have to get a small, much smaller length and raise this up to about here. Nope, not gonna work. Again, with the grass, my goodness. Are we high enough? No. Okay, that'll have to do. Now let's get this length back up so we have a nice curved path here, like that. And then we'll curve it like that. And then go straight. And then we will shorten it. Why can't you go there? Why can't you go there? Fine. And then I'll delete you. Ha! Tricked you. Tricked you, path. All right. Oh, <laughs> look at that hole. Okay, that is a good, I think, area for our kitty rides. Now, we can put one here. So, I'm going to go ahead and leave that one there just so we don't have people leaving the park. Um, but the kitty rides we've got, we've got the aeronauts here. And that one is going to go right in this little area here. Okay. And we will place the entrance. Um... Yeah, we want yeah, like that, and then an exit over here. Okay, the queue is going to get rid of the angle snap. Trace along here as best we can. The little kids always like to to watch while they're in line. If they can't see it, they'll get upset. Okay, flip it on itself, and then we will just snake back. And we'll go ahead and put a ticket booth in. Stretch it out, like... That. Perfect. All right. So I want to test these signs now, because I was always like, these ticket booths are kind of boring. Um, but we can go ahead and get into the scenery. Go to signs. Now, is there one called Arrow Knots or something? Wait a minute. Do I need to go into buildings and then signs? Oh, there we go. Okay, that's where it was. So we've got, uh, there it is, Arrow Knots right here. Can we put it on there? Nice! I had no idea. <laughs> That's what you were supposed to do. So they give you the option, you know, if you want to do it. You don't have to, but... Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, so done with that. That's the only sign that's going in this building. All right, and then I would like to have the exit. What we're going to do here is get pathing. Get our kind of stone... Or black... Or uh, dark path here. And I'm going to cut down the width to the smallest. And go ahead and put something there. And I also want to kind of trace around the outside. Because parents like to take pictures of their kids, right? So let's give them some path to kind of stand on. As they're watching their, their kids. How are we looking? Uh, not, the, not as good, but now we've kind of got to cut it out wider here. Go around this guy. Mm, 
Nice. Perfect. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and add a something right here. There we go. Okay. So we've got a nice little path going around it. Now let's go ahead and put in some scenery. Um, we've already got this sign. Let's put in some nature here. So we're in kind of the balloons. We almost want clouds, but I don't think there's any clouds. <laughs> oh, I was trying to do um, picnic tables out of these things. These are these, uh, they're little granite slabs, but they have like tentacles underneath. <laughs> I don't think people would want to sit there. Um, we should scare the kids with a big crack. And you guys seen this yet? I don't know if you've seen it yet, but it's animatronic. So let's go ahead and put it in. Whoa. So if you watch some other Le Let's Plays, you'll see this. Whoa, guys, that looks so cool. Not in mine. You don't, you don't, we don't see that in my Let's Play. What you see in my Let's Play is what you're supposed to do is this thing. Put it down in the ground, people. Oh, I didn't quite put it high. I didn't put it low enough. <laughs> let's get him all the way down in there. So that when he's at his peak, there we go. So I think you're supposed to put him down in like the water, like once they add water, so then he comes out. And then you can do the same thing with his tentacles. And I'm definitely not gonna put this in the kitty section, but um, as you can see, you can put these down under the ground and then they kinda, well, that was a horrible placement. But they kinda flip around, you don't see all the animatronics underneath them. Pretty cool, huh? All right, tip of the day, there you go. So I think the barrel planner might look pretty good in this area. Let's put one kind of on the corner there and another one over here. Let's put in a, these are the base fountains. You're supposed to make custom fountains. Like you, you put the base fountain down and then you add these other little pieces as toppers or statues and that kind of thing. Um, should put some of these things in. No, they just, they don't look right. Nothing, nothing's looked like it's matching here. I need, oh, this, this is, this has animatronics too. Look at this little barrel. <laughs> and I think some of the, there's cannons that also fire. Is this one? No. Somewhere in there, there's a, a wall of cannons that actually fires. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, signs. No, let's just go with nature. So let's plant in, I think, some of these big sycamores around here. So you kind of feel like you're in the, in the trees, up above the trees. You have some shade, maybe. Can we fit something in here? Right there, yep. That get a little rotation going here. Maybe these two happy trees are in love, so they're next to each other. Get this sycamore tree. Oh, he's a big guy. Put him over there. All right. Um, let's do some bushes. Beech tree. No. I need more bushes. There's just not enough of them. Huh. I'm just not liking a lot of my options for this nature. I hope they add more. But I don't I don't think we have much more to do here. I think we're good. So we've got lots of people already in here. You can see our park's up to 400 people because we got two rides. So let's go ahead and get rid of this guy because he was only just temporary. Bulldoze you. Go ahead and bulldoze you. And you'll see our park should go down to 200 people pretty quickly. All right, well, we want to put that ride right in this little section here. So we're not moving it too far. That was the magic twirl. I want to rotate it so this uh, sea witch is facing out to the crowd. And we'll put it right there. Place the entrance. Uh, this one I think I'm just gonna squiggle back like almost like a tentacle. So right there, exit. Uh, yeah, the exit can go right to the end. That's fine. So the queue is going to come like this. Uh, 
that's going to be a problem. That's a cliff. <laughs> um, can I fit? Yeah, I think we should be able to fit it here. I'm just concerned about the, t the uh, ticket booth fitting in here. More grass. Ugh, hate that grass. All right, and we're going to add definitely add a sign for this one. So buildings, signs. What was this one called again? The Magic Toro? Genie Hammer Swing Magic Toro. There it is. Sweet. All right, we've got the exit entrance, and it's uh, open. So should we do another uh, road around this one? Oh, you know what we need is stroller parking. People always forget about stroller parking. Can I get a little stroller parking section here? There we go. Stroller parking section. There we go. Okay, so that little rocky area is for stroller parking. Perfect. I haven't seen any strollers in the game yet. Doesn't look like they allow babies in. Why is everybody following this little line here? I don't know. Are they still walking right through my uh, hamburgers? Whoa, dude, you just walked right through the hamburger. That's fine. All right, so I think we're looking good, guys. We've got our, our entryway, our plaza is looking really awesome. And we've got our first two kitty rides. Probably need to put some more trees around this guy. Um, but I think we're looking good. So that's going to do it for episode two. If you liked it, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel to see more Planet Coaster. It's been Funchin X. Catch you later. Bye.